Right, this is the loading screen. Right, it's a two mile, one furlong handicap, zero to 100. It is race number 20 on the card. Starting Kobianko. I hope I'm saying that right. 66 to 1, Zakia. 10 to 1, the favorite. Bonfire Shell. 3 to 1 for Dan Hughes. Then you can find Keltide. 15 to 2, Big Slick at 13 to 2. Lucky Rebecca, 9 to 2 for Martin. And then uh, Coliseal also at 20 to 1. Looks some outside value. They set for race 20. They're off. Sent on their way. Lucky Rebecca, a bit slow out of the gate. Out the back in the early part of the stages. They start to settle down. Let's give them some time. They have 16 furlongs to travel. It's Bonfire Shell, the favourite. Goes straight to the rail. Has a perfect position. Ryan White still out wide. A lot of them um, up the stretch would like to get around that. Um, around most runners and get to the rail. But unfortunately, some runners will be using up a lot of energy. Here's Top Gump. We're viewing the jockey cam now here. He's sitting in about 7th place now. There's about 5 lengths from that leader, which is Bonfire Shill, Lucky Rebecca, John Louis. That's the one we're viewing now. He's racing out quite wide now. He's going to want to settle in a bit easier. Then you can find Sartingo Blanco. Let's go to Collis Seal. He's going to be at the back of the field. Second to last. Cape Verde is just in behind that one. Caltide, he's running right next to John Louis. And... Uh, Collar seal as well. So as we head now back to a big view here, it's Bonfire Shell, the favourite. He's not wasting any time. He's gone at least five lengths clear here from the second runner, which is Lucky Rebecca. Made up many lengths as Lucky Rebecca. Big Slick in third. Rashi in white fourth. Starting Kobianka. Then you can find the green salts of Top Top Cum. Then John Louis in the all black. Captain Coddington of the all white black star mid division. Then you can find Yuval, that's the one of the red, white sleeves, Caltide in the all blue of Zakir. Then uh, third last, that's Cape Verde, Fiddlers at Age and Coliseal. They track the back markers. They have about 13 lengths from top to tail. Nine and a half to go. Bonfire Shirl in front. Lucky Rebecca second. Big Slick in third at the rail. Big strides now. Moving up to Lucky Rebecca. On that one's outside, it's Raheen White. He is travelling out wide. Then you can find Sartinka Bianco. Just got a squeeze from the jockey to stay with them. Further back, John Louis. Top Gump, mid-division. Right in the middle. Captain Coddington in the white. He's travelling well. The back mark is just getting a few nudges here to stay with the fight with the favourite. Bonfire Shield is not messing around. He's putting a hot gallop up. Cape Verde has now also been asked a question with Captain Coddington getting a few squeezes. It's Bonfire Shirl, he's still in front, he looks to be cruising well at the 6 furlong, big slick second with Lucky Rebecca, they really share that second spot, they um, really giving it, a, giving it a go to each other, now making some inroads from the back of the field, he's stolen to Bianco, he's now moved into second spot now and is going to move up to that favourite um, who's in first, then further back Newbau Top Kump is coming out for a run, he's going out wide travelling very well, who has a lucky position here's John Louis, he's right, in the, he's right in the middle, at the rail, he looks poised to strike if they open up here at the four furlong pole as they make that uphill battle, Bonfire Shirl in front how much does the favourite have left, the, the whip is out, he's given a few ticks and he goes clear by four, starting to Bianco now in second, that one is set to chase him, further back, Ryan White looks a big runner, then Top Kump is at the rail, further back Cape Verde came from Stone Cold last and is starting to make up many lengths now only has two lengths to go to the favourite Bonfire Shirl still in front there's two furlongs left to go Ryan White second, Cape Verde is running on nicely but Ryan White is now definitely the biggest danger here for Bonfire Shirl and Top Cup is also coming out of the pack, it's Ryan White who picks it up at the last furlong, Bonfire Shirl looks on empty and Top Cup is now the biggest chaser, it's Ryan White Top Gump is now coming at him. It's Top Gump, Bonfire Shell. Ryan White tries to stay, but it's going to be Top Gump who just gets them at the line. Ryan White second. It's very close to third. I did not make out who that was, but what a race here. Top Gump perfectly right and striked at the right time to win. Comes home strongly on the inside and just puts his head down from Ryan White. Both big outsiders. Lucky Rebecca, good finish, third. I think Cape Verde is in fourth, if I remember right. That is the fact. Cape Verde fourth, nearby, further back. Rogers picks up the winner here with Top Kump. Big ride from Bishop, and it's a perfect ride. 
Bonfire Shell, the favourite for Dan Hughes. He looked like he had it, but um, he got very tired towards the end. Captain Connington, Big Slick, John Louis. They never got into the race. I'm quite disappointed with John Louis's race. He had a perfect position. I really thought he was going to run on strongly. Didn't happen today, but the winner is Top Gump, and he wins with authority.